Netflix's newest queer film, Nimona, has finally been given a release date and a fierce, fiery tease to go along with it. Why does it matter? The movie is based on the New York Times best-selling graphic novel by N.D. Stevenson, who is a trans cartoonist. Not only is the main character, Nimona, uh, being gender queer, but she is also voiced by an out queer actress, a Chloe Grace Moretz. Once upon a time in a fairy tale kingdom. <laughs> oh. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, what a peculiar bird you are. And now go make me a dress. Make your own dress. <laughs> This is the part where you run. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! No! Oh, my humanity! Oh, who would do such a thing? That would be me. Well, question five. With a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. Queer icon Namona gets a Netflix movie, and we're all celebrating our villain phase. Do we like the villains? I'm Absolutely. loving it. Absolutely. I like um, the villains the best. I don't love the villains. I do love uh, kind of this story of the creator and, and how they came about. I, I, I do cherish that, but I'm not a villain person. Is that... Fucked up. Yeah, I'm supposed to be gay. I mean, yeah, it looks like Ursula. Yeah, so be, it I'm is. supposed to be the uh, what's the one? Not Cruella. What's the one with the horns? Maleficent. 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 I'm, Maleficent. Supposed to be all, yeah. I'm just not about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I took a shot because a for the content and for the opportunity for the the show to be seen and hit the mass market. Mm -hmm. A yeah. it talks about <coughs> accepting others, accepting mm -hmm. self, making friendships, and then having a queer relationship in cartoon in anime ish style. And it kind of forces folks to have the conversation. But what's not, what I want us to also think about is this, the character who is genderqueer can change into a multitude of animals. So, cool. so guess what? So today I'm this, tomorrow I'm that, tomorrow I'm gonna to be this, accept me for who I am. Right, that's interesting. And, and, ah, and, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on back, <laughs> bring it on back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Is that so, it fell on deaf ears. He has no wait, idea what the hell so you're So proud of your I, I was going to say checkmate, but no, I won't say that. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> I'm, My I'm, God, to type again. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, and, and I know the shade will likely come because it. Um, that's all y'all have. Um, <laughs> okay. is, oh, is, I'm is sunny the, today. Is the issue on animation um, for LGBT, the, the Comic Cons, Q Con just took place in Los Angeles. What's the big deal about all of the geekiness in LGBT in terms of game playing, comics, etc.? Uh, to me, this is a relatively new find of me understanding that there's so much on this in the community. Are you surprised about it? Not that people care about this? Yeah, absolutely they do. People of my age growing up, even up to Auntie Mame's age, and she's old, not as old as you, but she's getting there. Wow. <laughs> people our age had comic books, had cartoons, anime, video games, and we envisioned, like, what if someone like us was there? So we finally get these open characters, these open writers having their stories told on the mainstream media, and we don't get to just keep it for ourselves in our little AV clubs or anything. We get everyone now into it, and it's just kind of heartwarming to me. I think it's awesome. It's not just for kids anymore. Like, look, I'm always yep. late to the game. I saw My Little Mermaid over the weekend, right? And my finally I saw finally. it. And finally saw it. It was so good. But I'm that kind of person that I can't get into animated things. I don't see it as a storyline. I can't get into it, okay? And with My Little Mermaid, I did, my you know? Mermaid. But I was rooting for Ursula. So you know, sorry, Al, but the, the, these opportunities gives you an opportunity to be somebody else and live a, another experience that you can't live day to day. And so when you can find yourself at a Comic-Con and see folks like you, and you're living that experience of that character, you're now leaving your horrible life behind and becoming something new, living a better experience to hopefully take empower you to go home and be better. Mm. That's, I, am, is anyone I like else that. surprised that we like what eliminates? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, one last thing, and, and, and then I've got to push. Were you on. about to agree with that? I'm going to do oh, a, a, oh, I'm going to do a <laughs> shameless, uh, shameless plug. Uh -huh. I've just interviewed Adina Menzel. <gasps> Adina Menzel, uh, I uh, told her there's a new poll out. 
And the number one, we're talking about villains, the number one villain in, uh, in LGBT, this is an LGBT poll, the number one villain in history, television, Broadway, and film combined, the number one villain was Alphaba. Alphaba. Mm -hmm. uh, from Wicked, uh, uh, which Dina Menzel played um, on stage. And Alphaba, she talks about playing it. And she talks about, in the interview she does with me, uh, she gets emotional about it. And she talks about that she learned about LGBT by playing the villain. Mm. Because in the blocking on the stage, she was always on one side of the stage. And all of the other cast, including her sister, was on the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. And it was always expressing hate toward her and isolation toward her and the loneliness that she felt of it. And she said, basically, I'm paraphrasing her words, that that's the moment she realized what LGBT experience was. They go through. And mm -hmm. goes through. And it mm -hmm. was like, holy crap. Adina Menzel has just summarized why we would vote Alphaba is the number one villain of all media for LGBT. Well, it makes sense because like, Alphaba especially, she's a good person, but she kept getting the hate, she kept getting the hate, and that's what we go through. We try to be good people, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I'm going to oh. slap you up if you keep calling me a faggot. Like, I'm so tired. That's yeah. it. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what she it. went through. And that, that's a great story. I love and that I, you and, that. And I love the phrasing. We're going to slap you up. <laughs> yeah. We are. Right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.